The Kingdom of Travancore The Story of Marthanda Varma Marthanda Varma was born in the year 1706 to royal couples. During that time, Ravi Varma was the king. The power of the king was restricted by the influence and interference of the local landlords and the nobles. The kingdom, which was small, had a complex political and economic structure due to the unholy nexus of the landlords and the nobles. The rivalries of the English and the Dutch complicated the situation. At a young age, Martha de Varma started engaging in state affairs. His maturity and wisdom was soon noticed by the king. But Martha de Varma had to face stiff opposition by the landlords and nobles. Attempts were made to assassinate Martha de Varma. He had to flee the kingdom for his own safety. However, in 1729, at the age of 23, Martha de Varma took over as the king of Travancore. The kingdom was in deep crisis when Martha de Varma took over. He immediately took steps to overcome the situation. The power of the landlords and nobles was reduced. The king focused on trade, especially through the seas. Martha de Varma built a strong military with the support of the French and the English companies. Soon the king's focus turned towards expanding the kingdom through annexing neighboring chiefdoms. The king wanted to make the kingdom of Travancore more powerful militarily and economically. The Dutch enjoyed close economic relationship with many of the neighboring chiefdoms. They took the lead to fight the Travancore army. This led to the famous Battle of Calachal in 1741. The Travancore army defeated the Dutch, and this battle is regarded as the beginning of the end of Dutch domination. The Kingdom of Travancore grew more powerful economically and militarily after the Battle of Calachal. The pepper trade routes were monopolized by Travancore and the kingdom soon became immensely rich. In 1750, Martha de Varma surrendered his power and wealth at the feet of Lord Vishnu. The temple is now regarded as one of the richest temples in the world. Many palaces of the Travancore royal family was rebuilt by the king. In 1758, the king died a natural death. The king is regarded as the maker of modern Travancore. The Travancore royal family still has a prominent place in the minds of the people. The traditions are still followed and respected. Long live the Kingdom of Travancore.